Okay, guys. So the code that we're going to add is going to help with a couple of things. First, it's going to help with the speed in which we want to move our background later on. And the other one is going to have to do with an animation and how we're keeping our score. So it's going to do a couple of things for us. Uh, so even though it may be a little bit ahead, it's nice to have this kind of already created. So we're going to go ahead and go to our variable tab and we're going to go ahead and make two new variables. We're going to call the first one score and it's going to be for all sprites. And we're going to make another variable. And it's going to be for all sprites as well. Since we're in the background, it just automatically does this for us. So you don't have to worry about clicking anything here. And this one is going to be called speed difficulty. click on OK. We're going to hide the speed difficulty for right now and the score we're just going to move it somewhere on around our game for right now. Once you're happy with those two variables and make sure that it's spelled correctly we're going to go ahead and start our code. So we're going to start by creating how we get our score and to do this is going to be similar like our previous game. So we're going to add when I receive message one we're going to go ahead and add a new message and call this walk. And then we're going to click on OK. Underneath that, we're going to add a forever. And we're going to go into variables and add a change score by one. I'm going to go ahead and stop. And right underneath this, we're going to go back into control. And we're going to go ahead and add a wait 0 0.25 seconds, which again, if you want to make the game harder or easier, you can pick how much the player has to survive before they actually get a point into their score. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back to the yellow events tab. We're going to add a when I receive message one, and we're going to add a new message called game start. And we're going to click on OK. Underneath this, we're going to go into our variable and we're going to set our speed difficulty to negative three. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is underneath this, we're going to go into control. We're going to add an if then. And we're in operators, we're going to use the less than symbol. On the empty bubble, we're going to go inside a variable and we're going to add the speed difficulty bubble and we're going to change the 50 to a 20. So if our speed is lower than 20, then we're going to go ahead and change the difficulty. So underneath that, we're going to go to the control and inside of the if then we're going to add a wait 15 seconds. And then right underneath, we're going to go into the variables tab and we're going to change my speed by negative one. Okay, and that's going to set up everything for our background for right now. The next thing that we're going to be creating is the back, and I'm going to explain how that's going to work.